What is up guys? Welcome to iDevice Central channel, I'm Joel Snow and in today's video we're going to downgrade the iPhone 4 from iOS 7.1.2, the latest version that this device supports, to 6.1. 6.1 is an older version of course that looks pretty good and has that old classic iOS style. So what we're going to do is to do it using the Black Geeks tutorial version which is basically geek grade that doesn't require any SHSH bloops to be saved so you're not going to require tiny umbrella nor any SHSH bloops but the uh, downgrade will be tethered so I'm going to go at that in a uh, couple of minutes but before we start I'm going to tell you you need iTunes 11.0 in order to do that so if you have iTunes 11.4 or iTunes 12.x you simply need to uninstall it, go to your computer, uninstall everything related to Apple, Apple mobile support, Apple update service and so on, including the iTunes, and then you need to install the uh, 11.0. You can download it from the description for both 32 and 64-bit windows. Now that you have it, you also need iRab R7. iRab R7 is created by I Hate Snow and it's a uh, utility that helps you to put your device in pounded DFU mode using the LimeRain exploit. And also you need of course the files provided by uh, Andrea Bentivena or Black Geek Tutorial on its website. So you can uh, download it from the description and I'm going to explain why there are two. The first one is called Restore, you are going to get it adver advertised as boot IPSW on the website. You need to download this one as well. This one will be used with Red Snow in order to boot the device when you restart it. And this one, Geek Grade variant, which will be the entire file system. So let's put ourselves in motion and let's do it. At first you need to open iReb and it has this interface. Then you need to put your phone in DFU mode. In order to do that, you click iPhone 4 and follow the instructions on the screen. Okay, press power plus home for three seconds. I'm gonna do that. Then press the power plus mm -hmm. home button. Okay. And you need to wait. Okay. So it will say installing Apple mobile device USB support detected and here it will change. Exploiting with Lime Rain. Great, your device is now in Pwned DFU state, black screen. Yes, you will not be able to see anything on the screen during this part because this is what DFU means. If you end up in a recovery mode, you will be able to see this logo on the screen alongside with a cable logo. If you do that, you need to restart your phone and try this again. You, you need to see the black screen, nothing on the screen. Click OK, close the thing. Now you can open iTunes. Of course, as I said, it's iTunes 11.0. This is what you need. OK, and now I'm going to show you that I'm running 7.1.2 first in order to prove the, uh, the fact that it's not already on 6.x. Okay guys, you can see this is the iPhone 4 I got and it's of course an iPhone 4, you can see by the connector and the fact that it has no um, antenna bands right here. And of course it's jailbroken, but we're not going to use the jailbreak in any way for this tutorial, but I just wanted to show you it's an iPhone 4. So it's iPhone 4 running the iOS 7.1.2, uh, of course. Let's downgrade it to 6.1. Let's go. Okay, now that you know that this is on 7.1.2, let's downgrade it. You need to press shift and restore iPhone and select the geek grade file. So not this one with restore, this one with geek grade. Double click on it and it will say extracting software. So as I said, I'm going, I'm going to stress this thing out. You need to definitely have 11.0. I also tried this with 11.4 and it failed with error 11. So you must be on 11.0. You don't need to sign in into your account. There is no point into doing that if it asks you. And also keep in mind that if you are jailbroken on 7.1.2, you need to first restore the device to 7.1.2 to be clean and then try these things. Either way, it will fail. So don't be jailbroken. 
Okay, let's wait for it to extract the software and let's see if it starts the uh, downgrade progress. We're going to also have the proofs of the working at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. Everything is in the description, as I said, every link, no advertisement links, nothing, just great links. So, yeah. Going to wait for it. Okay, it is extracting. Let's see how it's going. You can tell that this iTunes is very old because it shows this old iPhone 4 icon right here when in fact it's running 7.1.2 but this iTunes version cannot open your device if it's running 7.1.2. It will tell you that you need at least 11.1. Preparing iPhone for restore. And from this point, it's of course clearly working, but I'm going to let it working so you can see the entire process. You will see those uh, driver related things on your Windows because you reinstalled iTunes, but you can simply dismiss them all. You don't need to panic, you don't need to take them in consideration. You will see now the black geeks uh, icon on your screen. It's a BG on a red circle and a star and a progress bar that increases. You need to let the phone do its job, do not disconnect it, do not power off the PC, either way it will not start anymore. So just let it go okay it's doing its thing okay waiting for iPhone preparing iPhone software for restore and restoring iPhone software. And now, by now your um, file should have started already. Your phone should already show the uh, progress bar increasing, a quarter of it. Just keep on waiting. As I said, you will be able to use everything, including the carrier related stuff, for example, placing calls and receiving SMS messages and MMS and so on, everything that 6.1 supports. Uh, definitely my preferred software. I, I definitely like it uh, because, yeah, it is the old classic style of iOS, which I find very, very fast for iPhone 4. Definitely faster than, than uh, 7.1.2, this is clear. Okay, and as you can see, there is not nothing very hard on downgrading, just a few steps that you have to keep in mind, including the iTunes being 11.0 and so on. You can also use the uh, GeekGrade uh, files in order to downgrade to 5.1, to 5.1.1, to 4.x and so on. And uh, this tutorial is also compatible with the iPhone um, 3GS, I think, and also the iPad 1 and so on, iPod Touch 4th generation as well, there are files for it, and you will be able to see more files in the um, uh, web page on Black Geek web page. Okay, so let's see. Uh, I think it's actually uh, restored it already. It's more than a half on the phone. Okay, seems to be going. Verifying iPhone software. 
And I think this is what I'm going to run for the next month on this iPhone 4. As I said, I really like this uh, iOS 6.1 build. And for the iPhone 4, I think is the only thing that works pretty fast. iOS 7.1.2 works very, very slow on the iPhone 4, even though you don't feel it while using it. If you compare it with 6.1, it definitely is pretty slow. Okay, so uh, yeah. It's nearly done. I think the phone will restart in a couple of seconds and that's it. And now it's restoring the, uh, the baseband, I think. Keep in mind that this will not downgrade the baseband, even though you, you should probably uh, know that already. It will not downgrade the baseband, only the iOS version. So the baseband will remain the same, 4.9.12 or something like this. Okay, so verifying iPhone software. Here on the phone, the progress bar has increased already. Okay, so as you can see, it says your iPhone has been restored to factory settings and is restarting. Okay, now the phone should have start in recovery mode. Okay, so what we're going to do, it's in recovery mode, what we're going to do is to boot it up. Close iTunes, go to Red Store, uh, sorry, Red Snow, it's in the description. You will see this, iPhone 4 recovery mode connected, go to extras and uh, you need to select IPSW from here. And you're going to go to desktop and select the other file, not the geek one, but the restore one from here. Okay, and click just boot. Put your phone in DFU mode again, as you did by uh, the uh, start of the video. And we will be able to do it soon. says fetching required files, probably from the internet, of course, or from the file. Just need to wait for this. Patching files. This is something you need to do every time you reboot your phone, so try to not reboot your phone. There is no way other way than uh, this if you don't have your bloops. So, yeah. Okay, and now the phone will start. Uploading first stage, uploading second stage, waiting for reboot, and now your iPhone will start normally, and you can definitely see the uh, pineapple logo on your screen, and the boot is of course verbose. Okay guys, so this is definitely the iPhone 4 now running the, uh, the 6.1. Uh, I may see. Okay, as you can see, I have carrier signal, also wireless, and I gotta go here to general, and I'm going to click software update. Okay, and as you can see, it's checking. I'm not going to let it check for a very long period of time, but as you can see, it's running, of course, the older version. It's the same iPhone 4 as before. Okay, you can see, and of course it has everything the older way. The calendar, for example, or the uh, calls. And everything, it's on the older version. I'm going to open compass to show you. You can see every sensor is working, everything is definitely working normally. Here you go. Thanks for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our channel.
Until the next time, check out me on Twitter, follow me and peace out.